Well, hello and welcome to another Nomad Bike Rider video. Today uh, is Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to everybody. I'm in Sedona. I just did a mountain bike ride, so it's going to be kind of a retrospective video. There's not going to be a ton of footage. I didn't really film a whole lot, but um, I asked the friends that I was riding with, a really you know, great trio of good people, uh, what cycling means to them. So I'm going to go ahead and certainly put that footage up there and, and some other stuff of them riding in front of me. and and just a little bit of what was out in front of me as well so um it was my first mountain bike ride after covid so it's my fourth bike ride in total it was probably a little bit longer and farther uh or farther and uh, uh more strenuous than i might have chosen for myself but the group was really gracious and, and coddled me along and, and uh, took good care of me so i'm uh, grateful to be you know feeling much better the last two days before this were great and uh, obviously if i've ridden my mountain bike 20 miles and in, in the uh, tough environment of sedona then today was pretty good too so i'm looking forward to some great thanksgiving food and um and spending time with more wonderful special people in my life and and um that's about it really uh i miss many of you that i i care about deeply and and uh, haven't seen for a while i hope you're having a good day Hope everybody out there is safe and well, and we'll see you in the next one. So I want to ask three special people, special bike riders, Steve, Jim, and Angela, uh, what it means to be a cyclist. What does cycling do for you? We're going to start with the woman of the hour, Angela. Um, you know what? We hope to find a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> we start with one of them. Well, are you sure? Yeah. Okay. All right. We're going to go to Steve. He's a little more introspective than Jim. Because <laughs> you're going to be... <laughs> I just quit heroin about... Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. So, I mean, this for me is my drug now. Uh, yeah. You know, heroin was good. It was a nice high. But... You know, I'm not going to post this if you do this bullshit. <laughs> what does cycling give you in your life? You know, back when I was a respiratory therapist, I realized how essential breathing is to the human body. Breath is everything. Clean air. Getting out into nature is essential too. This is my religion out here. You know, yes. I don't go to church. Here's where I meet God. So for me, cycling is my religion. Nice. You get a lot from it, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, Jim. For me, you know, I'm a very competitive person. I, I want to win at everything. And it was something as I got older that I could keep doing and keep competing at. And even age groups like Thurlow Rogers said uh, <laughs> even though he's not the same uh, when he said that he said oh but they all these old guys whine well you're not a whiner yeah, for a little background for the folks playing at home Jim is a s serious bicycle racer road bikes and an amazing accomplished road bike racer that for sure okay. yeah you've done well you've done well and this is this by the way this is Angela and Jim's anniversary they're here they got married by Bell Rock three years ago and Angela is no slouch in her own she's a multi-time state champ in California on road bike ride and probably all all kinds of other and titles a tattoo. and a new tattoo so Angela you know <laughs> oh. given that you've been cycling so long and you've met your husband there and there's so much there's so much about it that's done so much for you what do you get from it like what is it the most meaningful part of it to you it's uh it's something I do for myself. I, you know, I think uh, growing up, you know, I grew up in Arkansas. Right. And it's not something that at that, in that era that women would do in Arkansas. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, all my friends were either married in high school and having babies or married as soon as they got out of high school. And I was like, I got to see the world. I got to get out. And, um, Cycling. You know when I found that it was just another way to see the world. You sound like Bob Roll. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I yeah. mean, how many trips do you think they could go? It was like the goal was we're gonna go and do this amazing trip and cycle, you know? Yeah, and the world. So, right on. To uh, Mount Lemon or yeah. everything we've done together. Yeah. Cycling yep. every single trip. 
Well, it's wonderful you found each other. Happy anniversary, thank three you. years. Thank you. It's an amazing thing. And thank you for letting me spend the day with you guys. And, thank you. So let me and, say uh, something in conclusion. Yes, in conclusion, in I love conclusion, that. In conclusion, Kevin Jones, it's good to see you. Back, <laughs> You've been yeah. to hell and back. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, it's good to see yeah, you. Yeah, don't, don't get COVID. Yeah. Uh, we you guys have beat me up. It's probably longer than I should have ridden today, but it's it's been a great, great ride. You've been very gracious to keep it easy on me. Oh, thanks, right. thanks so much. Yeah. Good to have you out here. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. yeah. Mr. Make it everything. <laughs> well, that's different. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll cover that in another video. So thanks so much, you guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's your tattoo. We call it. Right on. All right, you guys. We're gonna sign off. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we're riding with Angela, AKA Miss Molasses. We don't know why she got the name Miss Molasses because as a cyclist, she is a lightning rod. The woman is the current California state champ. Are you a past state champ as well, Angela? You are? Yeah, multi-time, ladies and gentlemen, multi-time. California state champion on a road bike out here showing us how to do it on the mountain bike. <laughs> That's her loving husband, Jim Edwards. Go for it. Multi time California state champ, the power couple of road biking in Southern California. Hey, do it yourself, buddy. You got yourself in that situation. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Steve Strine. Been cycling longer than most people have been alive. And uh, he's showing us how his skill sets have improved dramatically. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Good night. Yeah, some of those steps you just gotta let it go. Jim, uh, when you mentioned you love rocks, I thought this would be a good trail for you. <laughs> 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 it's your favorite. <laughs> Canyon of Fools, baby. <laughs> <laughs>